<laughs> oh boy. Some of you might already recognize this motor. And I'm going to answer the question for you that y'all been thinking already. Yes, my life insurance policy is paid in full. Welcome back to Cool Star Garage, guys. So, what has happened? Well, the first motor bicycle I built was stolen. I did find traces of it on, on the face page, but I'm not gonna talk about too much of that in this video because I don't want this video taken down. But that bike was stolen, so that gave me an opportunity to think, well, let's do a fresh build. So we got this motor which is a Wildcat race engine from California. Motorbikes, motorbike, motorbikes, Slamo. CaliforniaMotorbikes.com. They've been around since 2013. I've bought a couple other things here and there. This is the first motor from them. Supposedly it has a Italian cylinder right here. And in this video, what we're gonna do as we're gonna look at it. Car, just look at it. The car is not perfect. Just look at it. <laughs> I'm just gonna take the cylinder off. We're gonna look at the, the piston, the rod, the actual cylinder, see what's different. We'll talk a little bit about it. This video is not sponsored in any way. My main goal is to not end up dead by this thing. So let's uh, see what's going on. Yeah, let's talk about why this is different than like Bike Berry or uh, Motor Butter. Better quality magneto, which we're gonna look at that. Wider mounts, uh, grade eight bolts. That's good. Bigger and improved speed carburetor. Oh, hold on. So this unit did not. Uh, this unit did not come with a carburetor, which is fine. A wider intake. It has better uh, grade bolts, I guess. I, I mean, just looking at it. Just look at it already looks better than a lot of the other stuff better quality clutch we're gonna look at that but i won't know unless i know you the website also told us that it has japanese bearings and stuff so i, I don't know for sure but i don't know if i want to split the case or not so let's let's take this thing apart nope it's probably a five i bet right, let's look at the clutch Come on. There we go. All the shadows. Why don't you do this in your shop, Adam? Well, I'm trying to go back to the roots a little bit. Do stuff outside. The lighting's better out here. It's actually a pretty decent in temperature. It is a pretty decent in temperature. I like that. Words. Oh boy. So this unit is said to have six horsepower. What does that mean? I'm gonna tell you what it means. The China dolls that you get on like Bikeberry and the other, even this website, they have just the straight up China dolls. They're usually right around two horsepower. Let me tell you what, two horsepower, two stroke, that was getting me up to 36 miles an hour and I'm just under 200 pounds. Well, when I was filming last year, I was 215 pounds. Got a little dab of grease. Yeah, I'm not taking that apart. Let's grab a hold of this. A little bit of black backlash. Yeah, fuck it, I'll take it apart. What's the worst gonna happen? So guys, I've never been inside one of these before. Can you tell me if that is a uh, better clutches or not? 
All right, I'm gonna put that back in the gallery. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't work too good, guys, would it? Just like I was never in there. Next time we're gonna look at the CDI, see if there's any improvements from stock. So, well, well good thing I caught that before it's too, too late. Yeah, the phone was in the sun, and iPhones don't like being hot, so it shut down on me. Awesome. Every time I say CDI, just correct it to uh, mag. I don't always know what I'm talking about. Anyways, what I was saying before my phone rudely interrupted, we're gonna look at this EDI and see if it's a uh, new and improved per the sheet. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's a new improved uh, CDI or not. It looks pretty sturdy, solid, I don't know. All right, I gotta get you guys in better lighting here. Now iPhone, don't get too hot now. So I don't know how you like just shutting off on me. Yep. Looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna put that case back on. Let's try that again, but with the mics turned on. Wildcat Ultra Minarelli. It's a six horsepower race engine from CaliforniaMotorbikes.com. I do not recommend for beginners. I don't even recommend it for myself. Dangerous. To the beginners and novices to the community, I welcome you. I have a ton movie playlist in my profile cool star garage go find it check it out it's more up to speed of what beginners should do because i was a beginner when i first started oh take fenders off your machines they will kill you to the people that selected this video to watch me crash and burn because of the six horsepower motor screw you but i welcome you too I love you guys. To all the masters and professionals of this hobby, I appreciate every single one of you and all your comments over the years. It really got me up to speed to really finger things out. Well, I guess I get a helmet, and I did. Welcome to the very first video of the China Rally, guys. Let's have some fun. All right, let's take this hat off, pull a cylinder off, and we'll look at the stuff up here. I'm not gonna split the bottom end. It has a crank, it has some bearings. I really don't want to get that deep. It's been a pretty interesting summer, guys. I'm glad to have the opportunity to uh, film for you guys again. It's been a very busy summer. I know I keep telling you that, and I can keep, keep telling you I want to put out vi videos weekly and this and that. But guys, I don't, I don't get paid. I get like 30 bucks a month for, from YouTube for this kind of stuff, which is awesome in, in its own way, but it looks like a pretty standard head. It, uh, well, hold on, I got, a, I got a stock head. So the one on the left is from the Zeta 80, which was from my stolen motor bicycle. And the one on the right is the Minarelli cylinder. It does, this one looks a lot more substantial. Oop, I need that. It has a hemi head and all that. It, it's, it's okay for a, a stock head, I think. This one's kind of food stamp. This one is a little, a little heavier weight. I will be replacing this, but right now is not the time. Just like that. All right, let's get some. Let's get you in some light. All right, what do we got here? We got some reeds, all kinds of ports. Look at those ports. Very professional looking, like real ports. All kinds of good stuff. This is a uh, cast iron. I feel. I feel the weight. This is a lot heavier than a typical China doll motor. Whew. Did I mention I'm scared? <laughs> T 
tastes like oil. Now let's go look at the piston. So you got windowed piston. Yep, it, it's a piston. And it's windowed. What else you want to see on it? Okay, let's see if I can see the rod. Mm, getting it, getting it. Yeah, it feels feels like like a piston. Has windows. Has the has the better cylinder. I probably need a better head. We'll see. I'm just gonna run it stock for now and see what happens. All right, I'm gonna put this back together and we'll talk about the future. One last thing: if you take these apart, the two strokes. On the piston itself, it has a pin here and a pin there. So these rings have to meet. These rings have to meet that where that pin touches. So if it don't, it can end up peeling out while it's running and completely destroy your cylinder. And we don't want that. We also see focus. You also see the arrow on the, the piston that faces the exhaust. Not going to be as good as the first deckers, guys. I like the, the you lose on the first engine. Oh, we're gonna have some fun now. Stay tuned, subscribe, like, share, do all the things. I'll be a very happy man if I could do this full time someday. So this China Rally, that's what I'm gonna call it. I think it's already been coined that in other communities. Maybe it's not this one, maybe it is. You let me know in the comments. This six horsepower race motor, it only comes with what you see here. Just this guy. And like a uh, tensioner jobber that goes over here for the chain. We're gonna try to build this without using chain tensioners once I get a, you know, a bike frame. So it does not come with a carburetor. Um, we'll talk about this stuff in a second. It does not come with a carburetor, and it comes with an engine mount. Okay, so you can actually mount it as a frame. So I went ahead and I ordered an engine installation kit right off of uh, California Motorbikes yet again. Just so you know, this tank, look at that paint job on that tank, guys. Woof. I could have spray painted that better than my dink. Well, a little bit of surface rust on the inside, which I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with that anyways. It's the same thing I always do. I like my red coat. So we got that. We got a flute. I don't even know if that... I don't even know if that's going to fit on there. Well, we're going to find out. Might have to get a different pipe. I don't know yet. My other pipe that I have that some of you probably already saw in other videos... Put a little B-roll on there. Does not it'll, it'll bolt on, but it won't bolt on right. Don't need that. Ah, the rag joint and all that, all the fun stuff that. Yeah. So the point is, I got the kit. I got the motor. I need to get a carburetor, which um, if you guys ever ran one of these stock carb kits on a China Rally, let me know in the comments. I don't know. I think it might do it, but I don't think it'll do it very good. I need a bike. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's ready for a bike. Yep. Yeah, I don't know what else to talk about. I think that's going to conclude this video. If you guys like this uh, motor bicycle stuff, click this uh, playlist right here. And if you want to watch more on this video, I'm going to 
put the playlist for the China Rally up in this corner. Stay tuned, subscribe. We're gonna have a great time.